What's happening guys? I just caught a glimpse of this house from a road that leaves off this street. Obviously it's abandoned. I have no idea if we can get in. Maybe down this end as the front door is boarded up there. This is an old bungalow. Probably had squatters in there. Yeah, that's just junk and a, a haven for rats. Sealed up. Probably had a lot of problems with squatters. Just trying to see over the top there. Oh man, it's packed with stuff. Check it out. It's just a back shed. Oh, probably someone was squatting in here as well. Okay, we're in through the toilet window or what used to be the toilet window but have a look at this there is stuff everywhere it's a hoarder's house or it's or it's a house that's been trashed obviously so, let's check it out. I'm going to have to walk really carefully because this, I can't see the floor anywhere. But I can see a calendar there. It says 2010. Okay. So I might just leave the light off for a sec. Because there is a neighbour over the other side of that window. Oh my goodness. This old cabinet. Put 
for a broken glass, unfortunately. Look at that. That's what's left. That is a cake. A birthday cake. Someone's birthday cake looks like a fruit cake. But it's kind of just <laughs> solidified. Wow. Yeah, it's a train passing. We'll step over here, see what's That is disgusting. Can't really get over there, so I'm just going to try and pan in. probably reach over and get a date. The calendar says 2010. There's some mouth mouthwash there that says yeah August 2010 so it's about 20 sorry 10 years. A little bit easier to move in this room. Big water damage there. Just as much junk. Yeah, the water's coming through there. It's not going to collapse just yet, but the water is coming through. And I think this obviously was a family's home. There's kids' stuff everywhere. Kids' toys, Lego. So I'd say the family had to move out pretty quick. And then after that, it's just got trashed. There's no doubt they had a lot of stuff here. It's just been thrown around. Okay, we got a uh, probably a bedroom. Yeah. Huge. That's upside down. 
and blocking the window. Very old doors. Like the facade of this place says bungalow. 20s, early 20s, but those doors suggest turn of the century. See they're there as well. Very old hardware that's upside down. Huge keyholes, door handles on the low side of the door. Yep. So much stuff. I'm going to have to walk around the other way to have a look in that front room. Mm. There's what's left of a bed under there. And the mattresses are there. Or the frame. Clothes and... This is where the water is. The floor, I can't guarantee it's going to be. Oh, the ceiling's come down completely through this one. So we've got the living room here. What was the living room? And that's where we just were. Balancing on this thing. It's not really much to see. Even through there, you've got a. It's a sofa that's been turned on its side. The fireplace is through there. Looks like they've added a little combustion wood heater in the in the fireplace. And uh, copper. Copper piping. Maybe that's it's been cut. So maybe they came in and got um, got most of the copper piping out of this place, which wouldn't surprise me. All right. Well, because of the state of this place, I'm not going to touch and dig through anything. Looks like whatever may have, whatever interesting was in here probably has been removed, but I certainly am not going to go digging through this stuff. So I'm going to leave it here and uh, jump in the comments if you want to. And we'll cruise on to the next one. See you there, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.